squares on the right though. Welcome back to the School of Marvelous Light for part two of this message. Back to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, starting at verse 1. Continuing. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. There is no reason to faint when you have already been told that I give you my grace and I give you my mercy. Now, is his grace sufficient? Yes, it sure is. So then why faint? Why give in? See? Two, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. See, when you're dishonest in your heart, but you're speaking like you're being honest with your mouth. No, we have renounced even those things. Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of L deceitfully, just like we said in the last video, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience, in the sight of El. But if our gospel be hid, the elect, if what you are preaching, you've tried to talk to your brothers, your mother, your sister, <laughs> your co-workers, and all the people around you, and even strangers around you, you've tried to minister unto them, to show them the truth and the light, right? He says, but if it's hid, it is hid to them that are lost. See, the old Christian doesn't believe that there are any lost. He doesn't. He doesn't believe the gospel is hidden to anybody. He don't believe he doesn't accept that he'll run off after a swine and continue to cast his pearls because he doesn't understand that that's somebody who the gospel is hidden to. He has no discernment. You see, that's the old way. But we're the new that accept all the truth, even the hidden things of it. See, in whom the L or oh, no, no, let's get that right. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them. Look at this. So who's the God of this world? Satan. What has he done? He has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Who is the image of El? Who is? Christ. Yahushua Christ is the image of El. Don't you get it? Just like he told us we're doing. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, all, not some, all, with open face, with our face right before a mirror, looking at it, beholding as in a glass the glory of Abba Yah. See, we're looking at Abba in a mirror. See, are changed into the same image from glory to glory. So you go through stages of growth, ascension levels, before you finally get to the ultimate level of being one and face to face with Abba Yah and you see him face to face. You see? So back to what we were where we are, where we were in chapter four. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Ahusha, the Lord. See? So grandson and the elect family, what we preach is Yahusha. Keep the commandments. Love your neighbor. Love Abba Yah. That's what we preach. That's it. See? Not us. Yes, the grandson of right thought has written a book here. It's called, uh, let's see, the Holy Son Book of Rao Cyrus of Buddha that trickled down through Tehuti, down through Thoth, through the grandson. And I am wrote this book and I'm telling my story about what I believe that we should all do, and this is my doctrine, and that is not what the hell you see over here at the Grandson of Right Thought channel, I'll tell you that right now, and neither will you see that on any of the elects channel. All of the elect, you're going to hear them saying one name. <laughs> you may hear them saying the one name in different ways, like you may hear some of this, the elects say Jesus, you may hear some of them say Yeshua, you may hear some of them say Yahushua, you may hear some of them say Yahshua. You may hear some of them say Yahusha. You may hear you hear some of them say Yahawashai. <laughs> Ultimately, they're all saying the same name. The one who saves. Hey guys, have y'all heard of the one who saves? <laughs> Don't y'all want to love each other like the one who saves told us to do? That's what the elect be doing. You see? That's what we be doing. That's what our family do. Ain't that right? You see? He says, seven. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Am I going too far? Yep, I went too far. For El, who commanded, verse 6, the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of El in the face of Yahusha. See, reflecting Yahusha with that light. Light reflect. That's what it do. Seven, but we have this treasure, what? That light in your heart. See, shined out of the darkness. In earthen vessels, we have this treasure in our earthly vessel, our body, that the excellency of the power may be of El and not of us. So it's not this 3D body that we give glory to. It's what's inside of it, the light. See? Eight, we are troubled on every side. Listen, elect, come on now. We troubled on every side, yet not distressed. Come on. We are perplexed. We be getting confused sometimes by the wicked shit that we see around us, but not in despair. We not hopeless. We say, okay, well, I guess that nigga just wicked as hell. Oh, well, back on the loving again. <laughs> That's what we do. We persecute it, but are not forsaken. Nope. We always got a friend that is always with us. For he said, I will never leave you, nor what? <laughs> Forsake you. Cast down. They didn't knock us down before. But not destroyed. They couldn't destroy us. Look what kind of enemy is this. Y'all know that thing you fighting? That little, uh, when you boxing and you hit the little, uh, thing and it fall down and then it bounce right back up? That's you, elect. <clears throat> we fall down, but we get up again. <laughs> you see? That's us. Always bearing. Why? Because love bears all things, all hardships, all things. I don't give a damn what it is. Love will bear that thing. Always bearing about in the body, see, of the dying, the flesh. We're bearing these things. The body of the dying of the Lord Yahusha, see, that the life also of Yahusha might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahusha's sake. So we who are alive, we die every single day is what he's saying. Just like he said it in another place. So that Yahusha's light can shine through. That's why we put the darkness away. We said to hell with that shit. Let the light shine. Let our light so shine. The light is Christ. For he was the light of men. He was the light planted in your heart. So that he could live through you. Let him live today. Don't kill him. Don't crucify him. Don't sacrifice him. Sacrifice yourself for him. For that is the greatest sacrifice that a friend could ever do. And I give my life for Yahushua so he can live. Because he's better than me. And he deserves life more than I do. <laughs> he do. He deserves all the joy. Yahushua does. Because he was kind. And patient. And long-suffering. And hoping all things, even for the wicked, when he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. He deserved to live, not me. So I died. And this man you hear speaking now would be the spirit of Abba Yah in truth. For it could not be so if I was still alive, the man that I once was. Twelve. No. Continuing in 11, that the life also of Yahushua might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. See? 12, so then death worketh in us. So the grandson and the other elect, we give our lives, we died. Why? So that we could give life unto you, so that you could live. So you could hear the truth. You wouldn't hear it if I was still working at General Motors, committing fornication. Dying in sin, hating, crying, going to this place every day, hating it. If I still continued in that life for the sake of paying a bill, then you would not have life in you. You would not hear the voice of truth. Crying in the wilderness, you would have not an opportunity to hear it. But you do today, today for the sacrifice of my life being given up. Oh, praise to you, Father. I willingly give it up for your glory. 13. We having the same spirit of faith. Elect, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also believed, and therefore speak, elect. We have no choice but to speak of the great things that we know. 14, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Yahusha shall raise up us also by Yahusha and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that the abundant grace 
that Abba gave me. Y'all don't even know it. I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm not even supposed to be here. So what manner of grace has he given me that I still walk and talk and have the faculty of my limbs and my mind? What kind of love is that, Father, for me? I don't have a word. I don't. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I don't have words. How are you so loving and so gracious to us, Father, the elect? How are you doing this? It is beyond my mind and comprehension. I cannot understand. For which cause we faint not. For you, I don't give up. But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. I am alive. I am healthy. I'm strong. I am almighty. I am omnipresent. I am all knowledgeable. I am full of foresight and foreknowledge. I lack nothing. I am filled to the brim with all good things and all good gifts that Abba has given from above. I receive all good things from Abba Yad. Great abundance. Thank you, Father. Thank you for all of your gifts, Abba Yad, that you give unto the elect without measure. Thank you. For our light affliction... Which is but for a moment. This shit gonna pass. No matter what circumstance you find yourself elect. Even if you like the grandson laying on the ground. Under a bridge without a friend except one friend with you. God's grace. A true friend indeed. Abba's grace. And where two are gathered, he is surely there. But to lay on the ground and have nothing to your name is a light affliction because that shit only going to last for a moment. You remember that shit. It worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 18. While we look not at the things which are seen. I ain't looking at this shit I see in front of me. But at the things which are not seen, the things that are in my heart that I yearn for is what I look at. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Chapter 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved. Let's break that down. Come on, elect, let's get it, let's eat. For we know that if our earthly body of this body were dissolved, were killed or maimed or in a car accident or shot in the head or drowned, we have a building, let's eat. We have a body of L, a house not made with hands. Eternal body, by the way, in the heavens. An eternal body, not a temporary one like this one. For in this, in what? In this earthly body, we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven, our new body. The new Jerusalem is the new body that you're going to get prepared for you like a bride for a bridegroom, a perfect match. Don't you hear it? This old body can't hold the new wine you got in you. My body is struggling right now to hold it. It can't hold it anymore. The caterpillar skin can't hold me anymore. I'm a butterfly. Let me free, Abba. Let me fly, Abba. It can't hold me anymore. For in this we groan. You hear me groaning earnestly for desiring for my wings. You hear me? If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. 
for we that are in this body, this tabernacle, this eat, this fleshly body, do groan, being burdened, being burdened, weighed down with this fleshly body. It's a fucking curse. It's a burden. Not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up. Death. Mortality is death, nigga. Swallowed up. Swallowed up. Your mortality going to be swallowed up of life. Too much life in you. It can't take you. That, th that 3D body can't take the life that's in you. It can't take it. It got to break and become a butterfly. Now he that hath wrought us, he made us for the self same thing. He made us to become butterflies. Who did this? Abba did this. Who also hath given unto us the earnest of the spirit. He put it in us, that seed. Therefore, we are always confident. I'm going to come in so confident. We don't need none of your compliments. Nope. Knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Abba Yah. We yearn for him. Give me back, Abba. Bring me back, Abba. Bring me back. Set me free from this body of sin. This curse. To be absent from the body. Wherefore we are confident. Excuse me. Let's go back to seven. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Can't forget to say that. Yeah. Eight. We are confident, I say. Elect. Are we confident today? I'm going to come in so confident. Say it. I'm going to come in so confident. We don't need none of your compliments. You see? You niggas hating on me don't make no sense. We're going to come in so confident. We don't need none of your compliments. You niggas hating on us don't make no sense. <coughs> you niggas hating on us don't make no sense. We gonna come in so comp <laughs> with no <laughs> what I say? So confident. Let me get tripped up. Look at me getting tripped up. I'm so full of the rock right now. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of the truth, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that which he had done whether it be good or bad what you do in that suit you had did you let it win or did you overcome like the bible says you must who with the elect we overcomers ain't we we survivors ain't we we survived death <laughs> come on y'all let's praise abba y'all <laughs> thank you abba thank you come on knowing therefore the terror of abba y'all we must, we persuade men, we tell others, but we are made manifest unto El, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences, other elect, see? For we commend not ourselves again unto you, praise not ourselves, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that you may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in heart, the 3D, see, and not on the inward man, see? For whether we be beside ourselves, it is of God. So like the grandson just was beside himself a minute ago right there, just going nuts on the spirit. <laughs> it's because of Abba. Or whether we be sober. I'm sitting here talking to you and preaching to you like this. It is for your cause. It's all for you. I'm doing it all for you. Whether I'm speaking eloquently and in great eloquence and great diction and everything. It's all for your sake what I'm doing. Whether I'm hollering and screaming and can't contain myself and speaking all wild and everything. It's just all for you. All for you, <laughs> all for you, shit, it's all for you, you see, for the love of the truth, the love of Christ, the love that Yahushua had in him, constraineth us, it make us do it, because we thus judge, that if one died for all, then we are all dead, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. So now we got life. You live your life for Christ now. You see, the one who gave himself for the truth's sake. Wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. We don't look at the 3D no more. Yeah. Though we have known Christ after the flesh, we saw him in the 3D, Paul says. Yet now henceforth, know we him no more in the 3D flesh. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new and the new we the new champions 
We got in there and knocked Satan's ass out. And they said, and the new creature, all, all old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I got new eyes. I got a new nose. I got new ears. I got new hair. I got new head. I got new shoulders. I got new elbows. I got new knees. I got new ankles. I got new legs. I got new butt. I got a new back. I got new everything on me. Don't you got some new stuff on you, elect? Don't you got some new stuff too? Cause I got some new stuff here with me too. <laughs> ah! ah and all things are of el who hath reconciled us brought us back told you to himself by yahusha by the truth and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation i'm telling y'all how to be brought back to abba y'all because that's what he gave me see to wit that means take note that El was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, see, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. He gave us the word of reconciliation, and he didn't impute our sins unto us, elect. Thank you, Allah! Now then, we are ambassadors. Now we ambassadors for the truth. See, that's what we do. We stand up for the truth now. We got delivered out of death. We said, what are we going to do now, Abba Yah? He said, you going to do what I tell you? We said, oh, yes, everything you say. He said, well, then speak truth. We said, all righty then. Hey, world, get your shit together. Stop sinning, man. Listen to what Yahushua said, man. He saved me. He saved me from every damn thing I was going through. He can save you too. That's what we do. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. You see? You see? All right, one more thing I want before I end this message. Let's see. Well, let's read chapter six and then we'll be done with it. Well, let me see, maybe. We'll see, we'll see how it go, y'all. We then as workers together with him, elect, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of L in vain. So when he drove you out from all the wickedness and saved you from it, don't let that be in vain. For he says, I have heard thee in a time accepted. Whoo, thank you, Abba Yah, for that. When you was crying out to Abba Yah, it happened to be the time when he was listening for that type of thing. And that's when he heard you. And in the day of salvation have I secured thee. See? Behold, now is the accepted time. I am. Behold, now is the day of salvation. I am giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of El in much patience, okay, elect, much patience, in afflictions, and in necessities, and in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, storms, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness. No, you can't be pure. Okay, by pureness, by knowledge, <laughs> by long suffering, by kindness, that's all love, by the way, by the Holy Ghost, oh, look, 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 by love unfeigned, see, by the word of truth, by the power of El, and by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor. You hear that? You must have honor and dishonor in this world if you call yourself an elect of Yahusha. That sounds strange, don't it? Let's continue. You're going to understand it. By evil report and good report. As deceivers and yet true. It's got to be like that. What is Paul saying here? There has to be some people who speak dishonorably about you if you indeed are elect. And then there are some who speak honorably about you. There must be some people who have an evil report about you when they speak about you. And then there are others who have a good report when they speak about you. It must be this way. There are people that must say, no, that nigga's a deceiver, which means devil. See, he's a devil. And then there are some people that says, no, he speaks the truth. It has to be that way. As unknown, verse 9, and yet well known. So there are some people who know you very well. And then there are some people who have never even heard of you. It has to be that way. As dying and behold, we live. It has to be that way. 
Somebody got to die so somebody can live. If you're living today, that means Christ is dead. That's what it means. So that means if you die, then Christ is alive. It must be as chastened and not killed. <laughs> 10, as sorrowful, like the grandson was just crying, but listen to him now. Yet always rejoicing. You have literally heard that in this video, guys, haven't you? Haven't y'all heard that in my last teaching about I mean, this, this particular teaching? truth that we've been listening to today <laughs> y'all have heard the sorrow and the rejoicing at the same time see as poor see talking about laying on the ground sleeping in this car and all kind of shit yet making many rich giving y'all the jewels i'd be like put this jewel in your pocket they're like nigga you living in your car in the alley you sleeping from here to here even though that's not where i'm at right now all praise to the most high got me a place right now all praise to the most high you see that's why it don't last forever. That's why I wasn't sad when I was in my car in the alley. Because I ain't in my car in the alley right now. I'm sleeping in a nice fluffy little bed. See? You see? Air conditioning shit. <laughs> Hot shower. <laughs> Clean and shit. You see? Can wash my clothes. All that shit. So it didn't last forever. That's what we just been talking about. That's where I'm rejoicing. Even though I was just crying a little bit ago. See? It gotta be like that. <laughs> Oh, ye Corinthians. Oh, wait, 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 wait. As having nothing, see, living in the damn, uh, living homeless and shit, but yet possessing all things. Hey, children of Israel, come get these jewels I got for you. <laughs> come get this money. Come get these riches, you see. Oh, ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you, you elect. Our mouth is open to you. Our heart is enlarged for you, elect. You are not straightened in dust, but ye are straightened in your own bowels. Now for a recompense in the same, I speak as unto my children. Be ye also enlarged toward us. See, back toward me. Love me like I love you, elect. Love me good and strong, just like I love you, and real and true. See? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Just like my brother James, like I was telling you, he's like, hey man, yoke up with me. The hell with them niggas. Yoke up with me. Well, he's actually talking about this scripture right here. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship? Why are you even having a conversation with that nigga? Because you don't believe he's, you don't accept and have discernment, in other words, actually. That's why. You don't know he's an unbeliever. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? So there's a difference between the two, and you better be able to discern. See? And what communion has light and dark? They don't go together. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? None. Or what part hath he that believes with an infidel? None. And what agreement hath the temple of El with idols? None. For you are the temple of the living El. As El hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. For all of you that say we're not one with the Father, then you just lied. And this scripture just whack a mold you on your head. And now you got stars and birds going around your head. <laughs> 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate says Abba Yah, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. If y'all come away from this wicked ass world, stop touching the unclean things and come away from them, then I'll receive you back. And I will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says Abba Yah Almighty. Y'all hear that? You hear that? You hear that? All right, now before we finish this message, I want to give y'all some clarity about when y'all scroll through the Grandson of Right Thought videos and y'all hear him flaming you, and sometimes it hurts your feelings. As elect, it do. I'm a refiner's fire. That's the way it should feel. But you may not understand that. So I want to help you understand it so that you don't get through off and start calling your homeboy, your best friend, and your brother a deceiver or mean or unreasonable or unrighteous. Okay? Chapter 7. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, Beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of El. Receive us. We have wronged no man. We have corrupted 
no man. We have defrauded no man. I speak not this to condemn you, for I have said before that ye are in our hearts to die and live with you. Great is my boldness of speech toward you. Listen. Great is my glorying of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all our tribulation. You see? You see? Verse 8, let's jump ahead. For though I made you sorry with a letter, now elect, with whichever elect, that the grandson, me, I, me, the grandson of right thought, has made you sorry with a video of mine. See? For though I made you sorry, he's saying, I know I did, just like the grandson. I know I'm refining you as fire, and I know that fire hurts you sometimes. You see? So with my video, I may have made uh, one of you elect or several of you, matter of fact, all of you at times, sorry. I do not repent. See that? Though I did repent, just like the grandson did. When I was ever told that, I went away sorrowful myself, inside myself, and said, dang, man, I didn't mean to hurt nobody's feelings. That's not the purpose. I wish they could understand my intent, Abba. It's my intent of my heart that is important. How come they don't know that? How come they can't see through what I'm saying to see the intent of why I'm saying it? Why can't they? Maybe I shouldn't talk like that anymore. Maybe I should do it in a way where they don't feel that way. That was me. I do not repent. Though I did repent. See how it's written? I just explained it to you. For I perceive that the same epistle hath made you sorry, though it were but for a season. So my video may have made you sorry. It was just for a moment, though, wasn't it? It didn't last forever. See? And now I rejoice. What? That you were made sorry. I rejoice that I made you sorry with my words. Why? But that you sorrow to repentance. That's why. It made you sorrow. But it made you sorrow to repentance. For you were made sorry after a godly manner. Thank you, Father. That you might receive damage by us and nothing. For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. For behold, this selfsame thing that you sorrowed after a godly sort. So when you got mad at me, that was after a godly sort. Why? What carefulness it wrought in you. It made you more careful about how you lived, didn't it? It made you watch yourself a little bit closer about what you do, didn't it? Yeah. What clearing of ourselves. Yeah. What indignation it brought in you about your sins. Yeah. What fear. Yeah. What vehement desire. Yeah. What zeal. Yeah. What revenge it brought in your heart, didn't it? Mm, 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 mm. In all things, you have been approved. You have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter. Wherefore, though I wrote unto you, I did it not for his cause that had done the wrong, nor for his cause that suffered wrong, but that our care for you in the sight of El might appear unto you. See, the Cinderella slipper gets shot and it land on who it land. I'm not saying it for somebody. I know you did wrong, so I'm hitting you with the Cinderella slipper. You see how he's right, how he's saying this? That's not why the slippers landed. I'm just throwing it up there because Abba told me to do it. So in his sight, I will do it. Therefore, we were comforted in your comfort. Yeah, and exceedingly the more joyed we for the joy of Titus because his spirit was refreshed by you all. And I'll stop there. I'll stop there. Y'all get the message. Y'all get the point, don't you? Silouam Israelah.